What's up, YouTube? Today we'll be learning about the Samurai Way Iaido. I mean, just look at these students. They are so focused, their sense of awareness, these impeccable body movements makes them scary and inspiring at the same time. Today I'm visiting Iaido Club of my university here in Nagoya. If you're interested in Japanese martial arts or Japanese culture or history, you'll be more than eager to know about this martial arts. Okay, so let's begin. Iaido is a practice of being fully aware of your surroundings while also being able to quickly draw your sword in response to an impending attack. That means you need to be instinctively really conscious of your surroundings. In today's video, we are going to be looking at the day of their practice and how do they do it and learning about this art in depth. Okay, so let's see a video of a senior student explaining about what do they actually do when they are practicing this. Mm. はい。Okay, so now you know why they are not coordinating. Because they're imagining an enemy inside of their head all differently. Iaido originates from the words which translates into being constantly prepared and able to meet the opposition immediately. The first part of the word, iai, focuses on the psychological state of awareness, while the second part, do, emphasizes on the path or the way to success. It emphasizes the ability to draw the sword in response to a potential attack. Their day begins with a simple set of warm-up exercises, but believe me or not, they practice each and every single exercise more than a hundred times. Wow. The practice itself lasts for three hours. Also, remember that Iaido is not the same as Kendo or other martial arts. These two are completely different forms of martial arts and they have significantly different set of rules. I asked one of the students why he wanted to learn this art, and this is what he had to say. My name is uh, Shintaro Ishida. <laughs> I'm a freshman, and I, I, am, a, I am a college of uh, literature. Why, why did you start learning Iaido? Uh, <clears throat> when I was a child, I, I interested in uh, Japanese sports, and I like history. So. Okay. I want to play the Japanese sports like judo and kendo and so on. Uh, I started Iaido uh, when I was uh, 18 years old. I, when I entered uh, Nagoya University, I know that there, are, there is an Iaido club. So I decided to enter this club and uh, play Iaido. Okay. So you see, Japanese students also start really late. This is not something which you start in an early childhood. Students here are amazingly disciplined. Of course, they don't follow any strict diet or follow any strict set of rules, but still they have to train like three times a week and make time for this. They can't see themselves while practicing, so they have to take some videos of themselves and then look over it again and find out some mistakes that they are doing. Practice is structured within seven sets of pre-arranged techniques called as Waza. Waza sets are arranged to form Shoden, which is the initial level, Juden, which is the middle level, and the Okuden, which is the hidden and the secret level. Each Waza has five distinct elements. 
drawing the sword, nukitsuke, raising the sword over her head in a defensive manner, furikaburi, the downward cut, kiriyoroshi, blood removal, chiburui, <laughs> sounds scary, right? Replacing the sword in its scabbard, noto. Each waza has a scenario or a practical application that explains, informs, and clarifies the movements. Historically, those varied drawings and cutting application would have prepared the samurai for nearly any situation that might arise. Training in the Aido will increase your physical fitness, improve your balance and core strength. Most importantly, Iaido will steer your soul. Because this art is practiced as a form of moving meditation. So if you're coming to Japan, don't forget to try on some cool samurai actions for yourself. Peace out.